guys, my name is Lily Nova. Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to share a couple updates and some messages from the ETs today. Just do a super casual video. So I just got back from an amazing conference, the Journey to Truth Conference, which if you don't know who the Journey to Truth podcast is, you can check them out on YouTube. They've become pretty good friends of mine and they threw an amazing conference. And after this conference, well, during the conference, just being around so many people, like-minded people, star seeds, we're all on the same wavelength. Our light was just, it was crazy. Activations the whole time, the frequency was so high. So if you haven't been to a conference or you haven't been to a gathering with other star seeds, I highly, highly recommend. I was visited by some star beings <laughs> during and after the conference. And the ripple effect that we created is they said it's more than we could ever know. A huge ripple effect. So the day after the conference, we went to a sacred site known as Cahokia Mounds. That's one name too, What's up? What's up, Lily? It's near St. Louis, near the border of Illinois, and I live very close to it. It's an ancient Native American site, the oldest city in North America, and it is a mystery where everybody went. It just seems to be this huge abandoned city. Just a little bit of background on Cahokia. I have had discussions with the star beings where they've shown me the star beings there assisting the Native Americans with building crops and in agriculture and building this city. So there's a lot of very just intense, it's a very high energy place. And I do believe that there's an ET base under it. So basically the energy is nuts there. And we got together there, we did a meditation at this place called Wood Hinge, which is similar to Stonehenge, except for it's made out of wood. And during this meditation, you know, we're all sitting together, putting our intentions together. I was shown visions of a grid of light activating around the earth, everything lighting up. We were clearing, healing, and then they showed me Africa and the ancient Egyptian pyramids beginning to light up. And they told me that the work that we were doing right there on that sacred site was actually activating the pyramids all the way in Egypt from the United States. So I just wanted to share that experience. It was, it was very profound, very incredible. And you can actually connect with these sacred sites. You don't have to necessarily be there, although being there is really awesome. But this brought to my attention the importance of grid work. And that's one of the messages that the star beings are, are telling me now. It's so important that we clear, heal, send love and light to the land. We are doing a huge like purging of lower frequencies and raising our reality up into the 5D and manifesting this reality around us. We're activating these ley lines, these, these grids of energy, and it's becoming so very powerful. So you can do this at any time and know that wherever you go, you can send love and light. If you're going on a road trip, you're automatically affecting the environment that you're in. That's why a lot of us, our, our star seeds have been strategically placed all around the world to hold light and hold that frequency in that area. And we're here to help transmute and raise up our environment and those around us. So just keep that in mind. And if you feel called to traveling to any sacred sites or just anywhere in general, there's a reason for it, so go. I recently went to Arkansas, where in Arkansas there is like over 100 miles of crystals underneath the earth. I met a clan of Sasquatch there, and the Sasquatch assisted uh, with me connecting with the crystal grid, connecting with the crystals of the earth, and they said that, they told me that I had brought keys to help activate the land, and the land also had keys to help activate me. So it's a mutual beneficial thing. So I just wanted to share this with you guys so that if you feel drawn to going anywhere, do it and just be mindful. Like if you feel inspired to work with the grid, you can send love and light to the earth. You can cleanse and clear your city and it will be very, very powerful. After this Cahokia visit and the conference, the next morning I was visited by beings immediately as I woke up and they said that they were from Lumeria. They said that they were from a parallel earth, a parallel reality. And they said that what we did the day before 
was so profound, so powerful, that it actually shifted their timeline as well in a whole other parallel reality. They showed me these other Earths. So our Earth is not the only version of Earth. And what we are doing here right now, ascending the planet, raising our consciousness, we are also helping other realities to ascend. We are impacting other timelines. So basically this past week, there's been a huge ripple effect and it's really, really good. It's very, very exciting. There's, there's more light, things are picking up, it's incredible. So I just wanted to say good job, star seeds. <laughs> we are officially changing the timeline, putting us on a higher trajectory and impacting other realities along with it. So powerfully that these beings from a parallel reality actually came to me to tell me about this. It's pretty cool, it's pretty mind blowing. And I also wanted to share some tips today that my guides, the star beings and the Sasquatch clan assisted me with today and yesterday. So to help pump up your ascension and help you to get to that next level, whatever you may be going through, whatever your goals are, to help you manifest the reality that you want, to help you to remember who you truly are, tap into your divine power and begin embodying that more, or you just want to make contact with your spirit guides or make contact with your star family, I've got a really good simple trick that will help with this. And that is taking a bath. You can set up crystals, definitely set up crystals, let the water run, get in a very relaxed state. And just being in the water is incredibly powerful. So that's actually what the star beings have been having me do for the past couple of months. And I've been doing it a lot the past couple of weeks. It's very, very profound. The water is a great conductor of energy, incredible conductor. And it is said that showers and baths are actually portals because of this. So all you have to do is take a bath, even if you're just in the shower, set the intention to make contact, call in your guides, ask them to help you, you know, with whatever you're doing, cleanse, clear your energy, help you to remember who you are, help you to reach up to that next level. Uh, me specifically, I was working a lot on my heart in my energetic field today, and I made contact. It was very easy to make contact with all of these different beings because I was in the water and I had crystals with me. And another trick that they have taught me the past couple of days is of course affirmations, you probably know this, but do it while you are in the bath or taking a shower and grab some crystals. I've got rose quartz here with me, I've got regular quartz and I have an argon pyramid with moonstone very, very powerful. So I actually held these in my hand and I began saying affirmations, you know, whatever you want to work on at the time or whatever you want to achieve. So for me, I was really working on changing my perspective and changing my mindset because we are the creators of our reality and what we believe and what we feel and how we think creates the reality around us. So I held these crystals and I repeated out loud, I see through the eyes of success. I see through the eyes of health. I see through the eyes of happiness. I see through the eyes of abundance. I see through the eyes of gratitude. And that is helping to shift your perception and helping to create a reality of your dreams around you. Just from doing that the past couple of days, I have felt profound benefits and effects in the way I think, feel, and act. You can even talk to the crystals. Crystals are conscious beings too. Everything is conscious. You can talk to the earth, going back to the grid work, or if you're visiting, traveling somewhere, talk to the trees. That day at Woodhenge and Kokia Mounds where we did that meditation and I saw the visions of this grid of light and the ancient Egyptian pyramids being activated and this huge ripple effect happening across the planet. After that, suddenly I felt communication with the earth with the trees, with the wind, with the air, and it was incredible. It was like Mother Gaia was speaking to me. So you can also try that, and as you communicate with the earth or with your crystals, they will work with you. They will help you 
So that's just another tip to help you get a response if you're working on your psychic abilities or channeling or developing a stronger communication or connection with you know, higher realms or the world around you, that is an incredibly powerful tip. So just start talking to them, talk to your crystals, ask them to help you, uh, do your affirmations, try in the bathtub. You can do a guided meditation in the bathtub. You can do one of my activations in the bathtub, you know, whatever your goals are and reaffirm that to the universe. Work with your guides. If you would like to tap into the energy of Cahokia Mounds and the sacred sites or work with the grid of the earth, I actually just did a Sunday live activation where we worked on our earth star chakra, which has been incredibly powerful in connecting us with the earth and helping to bring balance, harmony, grounding, and reach your highest potential. We worked with the earth star, the earth, and the ley lines, we connected to the ley lines. Like I said, you don't have to physically be there. You can connect with it through your consciousness. We are in this field of consciousness. It, it, it's quantum, it's all around us. We are all one. So you can do that activation if you feel called to tap into that power. I hope this video has inspired you. Next up, I'm going to Contact in the Desert, which is a huge conference in California. So I can't wait to tell you guys all about it after I get back. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you have any tips you would like to share or if you are at the conference or going to any other conferences, I would love to hear from you. Also give yourself a round of applause because we have officially shifted our timeline to a higher timeline. I will see you later, star brothers and sisters. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, drop a comment, and if you are interested in activating your DNA or connecting with your star family, I have a DNA activation with a workshop that can help you do this, available with the link in the description. All right, I will see you later, star brothers and sisters.